Good morning, and it's time for Tuesday Tunes Day right now. We're bringing in Judd on our double box, who is live on the air, Kiss 98.5. How's the morning show going, Judd? Good, you just almost caught me. <laughs> <laughs> you have some wrapping behind you, too, just like we do in our hallways. Yeah, we decorated. We decorated. We got lights up and garland and Christmas trees. And the funny thing is we've got this large strand of lights that every day it's doing something different. I think it's got a mind of its own. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks very festive in the background of your shot. Now, Judd, of course, big things went, happened, went down at Christmas Bash. So let's start with a little recap of the show. How did it, how did it go down? Uh, it was great. 10,000 plus people at the First Niagara Center on Friday night. Uh, Kissmas Bash was a huge success, and it wasn't really a ton of fun. Um, and some kind of cool moments that you don't really see anywhere else when you have all these stars uh, under under one roof. Uh, some fun things that Nick Jonas and had this massive sing along to Jealous. Um, we've been playing it on the air the last couple days. Uh, it's online too at kiss95.com. But uh, 10,000 people singing the chorus of Jealous is pretty darn cool. We heard he also sang one of his favorite Christmas songs, Feliz Navidad. That's a good one. Yep, he sang Christmas songs, uh, and I think uh, Echo Smith did a Christmas song as well. Um, my favorite moment is when Charlie XCX was doing Boom Clap. We dropped 2,000 balloons from the rafters. <laughs> Um, and it's fun to just have 2,000 balloons raining down from the sky. So how did you set that up? Were there people up there waiting for a cue? Or, or what goes into a moment like that that concert goes really just experience and not have any idea on behind the stage, behind the scenes action? So we have this gigantic net up in the ceiling, and uh, we wave this flashlight. It's very, it's very low tech. We wave <laughs> a flashlight, and the guy at top, let's go with the net. <laughs> And you did a pretty good job, was, Judd, because I was there on Saturday night for the Sabres game, and there were no balloons left over that I saw. So uh, people must have taken them home. The cleanup must have gone okay. <laughs> yeah, the, we from the alternative show on Thursday night to Kisses Bash to a Sabres game, it's incredible. Uh, the staff and the facility staff at the First Niagara Center uh, get very big props for being able to turn those venues around. No. Absolutely. There was kind of a little buzz backstage. I have to tell you, with some of the security staff, they were talking about who was in what dressing room, any behind-the-scenes antics that you can tell us about. Um, there, well, there's always antics. I think my favorite one is uh, Rickson, whose tour is sponsored by this uh, company called One Piece. They make like adult onesies. Um, seeing <laughs> their entire band and their crew sound checking and walking around in like full grown men onesies was kind of like a very odd thing to see. Um, another bonus fact that not a lot of people know is after the show, Nick Jonas actually went to the Buffalo Creek Casino just down the way mm -hmm. uh, and won $6,000 playing table games. <laughs> <laughs> what? So. I don't have any, I have no comment for that. Of course, <laughs> obviously. Me. That's pretty cool. I don't think he needs the six thousand no, dollars, but it's like nothing. Congratulations, <laughs> welcome to Buffalo. Right? That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, have you heard any requests for songs in uh, growing numbers after Kissmas Bash that you weren't expecting, or is there any buzz about artists now? People in Buffalo are going to start to listen and know about a little bit more. I think people are really impressed by Jacob Lattimore. He opened the show. Um, he's the multi-talented singer-actor. Of course, he was in um, The Maze Runner, which just came out on DVD. Um, and he put on a killer performance. Super talented, um, incredible voice, really strong uh, you know, singing voice. He didn't use a track, which some people did. Um, and so I think people were really kind of taken aback by him going, wow, we may not have totally known about you other than your one song, but they were very, very impressed. Using a track, industry term, we all know what that really means. All right, we, it's the end of the year, Judd. It's the best time of the year because DJ Earworm puts together his mashup of the top 25 songs of the year every year at this time. He's done it, right? I think I just heard it on the radio. Yeah, DJ Earworm has outdone himself again. Uh, it's called the United States of Pop 2014. Um, there's one for the past five years, the United States of Pop, and then the year. Um, and he masses up the top, the top 25 most played radio songs of the year uh, and puts a together a killer mashup. It is absolutely incredible. Jason Derulo's in this, Maroon 5. Uh, you have Let It Go, <laughs> A Great Big World, Bastille. You, every kind of song that has been around that has been kind of in your head all year long is mashed up into this incredible mashup. And every time we play it on the radio, we get tweets, we get Facebook messages, we get calls of people going, oh my God, what is that remix? It's the best thing I've ever heard. It and should I, be on YouTube, too. People can go on yeah, and watch Yeah, I, I was going to say, yeah. I would definitely recommend watching the video, too, because he does mash up the videos, and it's also uh, a pretty cool thing to see. That's, like, the coolest part. I think Let It Go was in last year's. <laughs> it's on SoundCloud. You can definitely find it all over the Internet. All right, Judd. Thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday, Tunes Day. Have a great rest of your show. We appreciate you Skyping into ours. And, of course, yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. <laughs> yeah, to you guys, too. All right, bye. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we'll be in the